Faith changing communities. Ika malga is seven and dotana no moya unto vileo. Kulung Rusuman lay seven cosi to Jess. Siabongango musa no tando sipalon. Siabongango tembega guaco, siabongango musa wak. Siabongango clala nach. Siabongango bang lany yen piloze. Clala natigan goes to sipaman lako no musa wak. No tando lako malbuele gue. Liga malga is seven and dotana no moya unto vileo. Amen. Sanmunani Tandazami, eh, Igamalami go father Tembelani Gwagwangobo. Eh, so as we are waiting for people to join us as the seal in the Lavand Uba Basonde Levasale Anya Nati, eh, Yanamugela, Uba Nizelati, Ku Le Live. Eh, thank you for being part eh, of this live. Thank you for joining us wherever you are in the world. It will be quite interesting to hear It will be quite interesting to hear where are you watching us from? Uh, please do share and do invite Abanye Beze Bazo Sanganyela Kanyanachi. It's a big Esi Salanayo Namsanja. How do you cope with anxiety? So Iloko Enfisa Uba Sebubu Uguchi. Lendo e tuwa e anxiety, how do we cope nga yo? Mklambe e, futi ngifuna uku pala e, masi kala si hlanganyela si kulumanda wonye e, making a distinction between anxiety and also e depression. Both are uh, mental uh, health issues uh, but then how do we work with that? So uh, let me just see those who are watching uh, U Umalind is watching us from uh, Mbombela in Pumalanga. Uh, welcome, Malind is watching us from Mpumalanga. Uh, Ubiata is also watching us from Pretoria. Uowa is watching us from Lady Smith. Uh, Umtembu Gwebu is watching us from Richards Bay. Uno uh, Neva is watching us from Albertin. Siabonga uh, Tandozami. Ketel is watching us from Johannesburg. Undumiza. Uh, uh, from uh, Peter Maritzburg, uh, Umamarama from Davidson, Uthengi. Uh, Uthengi is watching us. Let me just get this from Newcastle. Walu Kabazela is watching us from Soweto. Umapum from Mbangeni. Uh, Tool is watching us from the States, United States. Uh, so U Innocentia is watching us from uh, Protea North, uh, Soweto. Uh, Zandilengos is watching us from Kruger Stop. Uh, Upizo is also watching us from Kruger Stop. What did I do over there? Uh, Lorraine Shabangu is watching us from Pretoria as well, as well as Uzamu Ushe Mate is watching us from Johannesburg. Uh, thank you, friends, all of you who are watching us from all over uh, the world and all over the country. Uh, Unonzuzo Zone is watching us from Dandi. Uneli uh, see where from box back. So as people are gathering, uh, watching us from all over uh, the world, Siana Mugela, Siabonguba Nadi, U Sindiswa, watching us from Helsinki in Verlem, Siabonga Uguba Nati, Tandazami, Gifisa Uba Sibe Ndawonye, Siana Mugela Nonges, Uma Kubanes Lindelo, uh, from Newcastle. Uh, we also having people coming from Yellowwood Park. Uh, and Chesterville as well, uh, Deep Club Soweto. Uh, thank you guys for being here with us. Uh, that's what we are talking about. How do you deal? How do you cope uh, with uh, anxiety? As we are gathering here, Jesus Nyakulagwe na nkulunkulu obwazi kukusenze la izi mangalisu. Kuni ngu obwazi kukusenze la tineska obwazi kukusenze la bwana. Ziningi zimpi osluwe la zona tina eshuleka angogwe tu uguba sipega nilazo. Ziningi kutineka wazi mpi ilo ezi chaka hanyo. Weno obwazi yo ugustushi sa kuzoni. Obwazi yo nungusu nabe la kuzoni. Nyakulagwe na kechofu na manja. Nyakulagwe na kekulunkulu na musi. Nyakulagwe na kekulunkulu tembegle. Nyakulagwe na kekulunkulu tembegle Young Musu was 
kekamalga ise bene dota no moya ocebileyo amen tena zami as i invite welcome you to this live and also have invited you to be with us i'm glad uh, all of these people who are watching us uh, michelle from uh, swatini uh, ubongiwe from uh, newlands west uh, no maika from kwamashu and everybody else who has come to join us siabonga kakulu uh, i'm a catholic priest my name is father tembelani ngobo i work in the archdiocese of durban in south africa uh, i'm in montclair that's where my parish is so every sunday i worship in montclair so having having said that i'm a catholic priest uh, i want then to have a, a disclaimer that i am not a psychologist so what i'm talking about here absolutely doesn't say i'm a psychologist and ngosholona agushukuthi is cast on stone but i'm probably going to be sharing with you some tips and some things that work for me ngisizayo mina ekukhuleni nasekwenzeni lokho engingakwazi ukwenza ekukhuleni kuNkulunkulu and so how do i then define e an e anxiety e anxiety for me has to do with an excessive worry excessive fear or to be apprehensive ube no valo ube no kwesaba eh izinto sometimes azenzeki and how does it manifest itself sometimes physically there is this sense of restlessness eh abanye abantu abakwazi ukulala Uh, there's tension and abanye they they have what i call rapid heartbeat and as a tomunye mhlambe u a panic attack uh, and so there is this fear uh, this excessive fear or concern no move on no up how i see it or define it most of the time it is future orientated and ngiwari sheka ngezinto ezokwenzeka that's how i then define e e e e e e e anxiety tandazam ikuphike engifisa ukuba mhlambe sithi ukubuka e sinda wonya how do i tembelani cope with e anxiety the first point that i want to talk about identifying a uh, triggers identify triggers izinto ezidala ukuba ube so worried mhlambe izinto eyidala ukuba usabe so the first point for me learn to identify these triggers how did i learn this trick personally i i learned this trick personally tandazami uh, when i was dealing with anger uh, I, i used to tell people that i used to be a very angry person and and and, and i struggled uh, with anger i was getting so much angry uh, and then i had a a good spiritual director i had a very good a uh, powerful man who was able to help me through therapy and through help the first thing that i needed to deal with tembelani why are you angry yin lene tsasulani what makes you angry and so the first thing for me that helps me more than anything it is identifying the triggers what are the triggers in my life so umuntu who struggles uh, with with anxiety one needs to recognize the situations or the thoughts that contribute to your anxiety omunye umuntu uyasaba ukuzwa bad news indaba ezimbi indaba eithusayo omunye umuntu uyasaba ukungabi namali omunye umuntu uyasaba ukwazi ukuthi kunento embi eyenzakalayo noma eyenzaqalile and so those uh, triggers for for that person they 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 take them and they they badila nama situations differently than someone else so ungathola ukuthi lona into emtrigger rishayo ne trigger risha omunye umuntu a different ama situations ayafana kodwa ama reactions ahlukile so if i say uh, maybe recognize the situations 
Yini lena eda lukuba gingabi no kuchula. Yini lena eda lukuba gibe no valo olungaka. Omu nyumuntu kuna bantu abangege bakwazi ukshala enda weni evalekile. Because labo bantu mawe shala enda weni evalekile. Number one, abakwazi pefumul. Number two, baya saba, the worst can happen. But abanye balabo bantu, baba ulawa ma situation based on ama personal experiences, ababe na wo nga pambilini. And so, ingondo yabo works a little bit too fast, and ingondo yabo start thinking izinto. Uguti, nzo gwenze njani, uma gwenze guguti, nzo gwenze njani, uma uguti nga senzeiki. A typical example, kuna banya bantu abasabayo ukhamba ge elevator. Ngo babati mangega ngena elevate, kuzo gwenza kalani, uma le lift, ima, kuzo gwenza kalani, maguba kona iload shedding, kuzo gwenza kalani, uma seng vanele kile for hours, so gwenza kalani, ngasagwa azu pifmo. And so their minds, ex, they, they, they ex, excel in everything, they just exacerbate the situation. And you soon realize, Zuguti, I thought in Dilanale thought, Sengenale, Sengenale, Sengenale. And so there are two things for me. There is a situation and there are thoughts. Now, most of these thoughts are negative. Now, yini engsiza you mean. One, kubalegile, identifying the trigger that is important. But then, masengi identify yile, what do I do? Personally, uma ama thoughts am eseng shia. Ese uma negative thoughts, negative thoughts. I, I tell myself, Chambelani, hold on, stop. Ima, ima. Usu abanga kakulu, usu shala kakulu on the negative. Loko ngi tola kanjan, ngo kuchi ngibe aware of my thoughts. Gibe aware of my feelings. Gibe aware of what is going on. And so literally, unekama eling sizayo uyapi uzobuyanoba. And so sometimes as we, we look at these situations and we think the worst, my faith in God helps me. Ngeke kotu nkulunkula vumi. So look at the triggers, look at the things. dala ukuba usabe. Enye into that helps me. So the first one is recognizing or identifying the triggers. The second one, just take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath and breathe slowly. Now, why loku gixi kung si zamina kung sevenzel? Because sometimes we can have what I call panic attacks. Utoluguti aksa pefumulek. Utoluguti sangye saba kakul. And in nondo ihamba ngendela ena manja. And so, what do I do? I just. Take a deep breath and I breathe slowly. I breathe slowly. And if I breathe slowly and take I'm a deep, I'm a deep, deep breaths, it allows me to calm down. Kona le text uh, in the scriptures that is absolutely beautiful. Be still. Just be still. And so what I find helpful. Number one, I recognize ama triggers nanti into e dalobuti give anxious. And leon to kumina is associated with ama situations or ama thoughts. Then once I see those, I acknowledge them. This is what is happening right now. So I'm not in denial and I refuse to be in denial. I want to deal with it. And so when I'm getting my panic attacks, let me tell you what I've never really told about. When I heard the news 
uh, of the death of Archbishop Kabuza. Literally, for the first time ever in my life, I had a panic attack. My body just could not take the news. And I, 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 I knew Uguchi, he was sick, but I was very hopeful Uguchi was okay. And so in as much as I've experienced death, I've buried people I love, but for that odd reason on that day, when somebody had phoned me and said to me, have you heard about Archbishop Gabuza? And I'm like, yeah, he's in the hospital and so what? I said, no, Archbishop Gabuza, I couldn't continue with the phone call. And, and I just lost it and I realized I was getting my panic attacks. I realized I just couldn't breathe. And the only thing that could help me at the time was to take a walk and to breathe slowly and to say to myself, Tembelani, breathe. And so for me, that second point is important. Take a deep breath. Pifmula. Slowly take them in. And that helps me to move on with impilo and such. And, and, and be able to, to navigate that through which needs to be done. Number three, why sometimes Sibe Nama, eh, what, sorry, what, what, what I call, why sometimes Sibe Nama, nama in anxiety eh, or anxiety attacks or panic attacks? It's because we feel overwhelmed. And so what is the third thing that I suggest? Break your task into small pieces or jobs, but break your tasks. Don't do everything at once. You're going to be overwhelmed. And that's very helpful. You eat it bit by bit. Don't do Everything at once. Unga fun futu wenza yonki into at once because we are going to get overwhelmed. Often I hear abantu be kalang impilo. We are the ngangi ti uma sengim dala ngobe sengi no loko ngobe sengen zuguti ngobe sengi achive ukuti no kuti no kuti pilo. Yes, that's how we judge ourselves, and sometimes it is unfair. And then we, we therefore want to do everything at once. Well, Amanda Am Namanda Ako Ashugin. But Uma Seng Zaz mean a balekile a kinsekile and I shouldn't push myself and do all those things at once. I hence believe in what I call baby steps baby steps and if i take baby steps they will lead me to giant hips so bit by bit i can do my task but then there's something that i've also found helpful in my life in trying to deal with anxiety instead of give us so worried give us so fearful I do bit by bit, but once I finish that, I celebrate it. I thank God I did this module and I passed. Thank God I went for the morning run and I finished it. And this is something beautiful for me when I'm doing my, my morning runs. My first kilometer is important because as I run, the first kilometer, doesn't matter how long it takes me, but when I finish it, it is a celebration for me because I say to myself, had I stayed in bed, I would not have done the first kilometer. And when I finish the first kilometer, I look forward to the second one. I celebrate the second one. I look forward to the third. I celebrate it. And so as one break task into into small tasks, into small portions, start also to celebrate them. So 
Don't go out and say to yourself, I want to run 25 kilometers today. It's going to be overwhelming. How am I going to do that? But if I take them bit by bit, kilometer by kilometer, step by step, eventually you reach your 30. Didn't know it was possible, but you do it. Why? Bit by bit. And so those help me as I try to deal uh, with anxiety, as I try to cope with anxiety. So I realize that I need to identify my triggers. I need to calm down, breathe, take a deep breath. Uh, number three, break my task into small portions. The, the fourth one, it's also helpful for me, have positive affirmations. I believe that. Why do I believe local? Because when we are anxious, when we struggle with anxiety or depression or anything, we, we are swimming in negative thoughts, in a pool of negative thoughts. We just, I'm useless, I'm stupid, I cannot do this. So it's just negativity above negativity. Now, I, I was talking to myself uh, today, and, and, and I was saying to myself, it's important to speak positive words because words lead to action. Action leads to success. And I think we're not doing much, too much of that. And we should, I feel. We, we should be speaking words of life to every situation. We need to, to bring positive thoughts. We need to affirm ourselves. We need to celebrate ourselves. Because if you are dealing with negative thoughts, you don't want to see it in negative thoughts. But unfortunately, negative thoughts breed other negative thoughts. But that's why we need to replace negative thoughts. And as we replace them, we replace them with positive affirmations. What do you love watching? What do you love doing? Some people, they, they need a distraction. And so let me do something good. Let me do something I love. Anxiety, once again, I argue and I say, most likely has to do with something in the future. And I always say to myself, Tembelani, do you have control over the future? No. Then I leave that to God. And I say, Yini lena enginga yenza at the moment. What can I do at the moment? What can I do in my life? What do I have that can help me to cope with now? Tomorrow, let tomorrow take care of itself. And so if you keep on, if you bring these positive affirmations, if you try and bring a sense of reality, has Ukulunkulu ever failed me? No. So what makes you think he's going to fail me now? I don't have any evidence. And so the more I think like that, the more I try to deal with the situation as it manifests itself. And so for me, Point number four, have a positive affirmation. Point number five, have a regular exercise, physical exercises. You know, I find this absolutely helpful for me. I go for my run. Some people want to have a morning run, others during the day or in the evening. Others a walk. Others go and play a game with a friend. But I, I want to talk about a regular exercise. Physical activities does reduce anxiety because it releases tension. But also what I find helpful, especially if, if I go for a run, the fresh air in the morning. It's always beautiful. I just go out and say, I want some fresh air. I go out and I say, I just 
want to enjoy the scenery. So sometimes I, I love running uh, and, and as I run and I can see the moon disappearing and I can see a little bit of light, sometimes it's beautiful to run and to see the sunrise. Sometimes you want to see the sunset. Sometimes you just want to go and run at the beach. And as you run, you are motivated. And as you are motivated because you meet different people, new people. And, and so you, you are taking yourself and your mind out of a negative situation. It allows us, because the more we exercise, well, the better we feel about ourselves. And when we feel good about ourselves, most likely we're going to feel good about things around us because we know that there's something good happening in our lives. And so I find that point absolutely beautiful that we must do some physical exercises. For me, it is important. Do some physical, regularly physical activities where you do something and exercise your body. And I, I found this very helpful, especially when we were uh, in, the, in the seminary. Because when we were in the seminary, we encouraged ourselves and each other, especially during our exams, you know, with Father Joel Skosana, we'll go down to the gym and we will start and start and there will be tension and we'll go down to the gym or to the dojo and we will, we will then exercise. And it helped us. There's this principle, fresh body or healthy body will most likely give you a healthy mind. And a healthy mind is most likely to give you a positive outlook into life. And so I encourage you, I'm not saying all of us all of us must go and have a run, but I'm saying it's also good to go and have a walk, walk uh, in the yard, walk outside, but just go and, 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 and walk and, and, and see something different and hopefully something beautiful and something that can help you. Now, the sixth uh, point or tip that helps me to, to deal with some of these things it's what I call mindfulness meditation. I believe in meditation. And I'm grateful to the Catholic Church for introducing me into this way of life. Meditation. And what do I mean by this? Focus on the present moment. Try and alleviate all negative thoughts, all anxious thoughts. Focus on the present moment. One day I must do a video. I think I've done a video on, on meditation. I think the team will remind me. But uh, what, what do I do in here? I personally go to the chapel. I love going to the chapel late at night when it's dark or when there's nobody during the day. I, I like going into the church. And... Nobody's there. Nobody can disturb you. Nobody can see you. And I just sit. I sit in the presence of God. But now, as I sit in the presence of God, I become aware of who I am. I am present. There's this beautiful concept. God lives in what we call eternal presence. He lives in the here and the now. The past and the future are present to God. The past and the future are present to God. He lives in the here and the now. And so how many of us are so afraid of living the here and the now? We run away. There is a, a link where I talk about uh, meditation uh, in our YouTube channel. So you will find the, the link on our YouTube channel, Tembelani Ngobo Official, where I talk about meditation. Part of meditation forces me to be present to myself. How? Simply. Be aware of your senses. Be aware of your smell. What am I smelling? What am I tasting? What am I hearing? What am I feeling? Don't forget, anxiety has to do with 
the future. I'm scared of this. I'm worried about that. But when I say at the moment, live in the here and the now, there's this powerful principle. I probably must do a video uh, on, 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 on meditation. I will do a video and on meditation where I will explain it and we will lead you into some sort of meditative prayers. There's this uh, concept. In, in, in Latin, Kepa Deum, seize the day. Live in the here and the now. Forget about tomorrow. Forget about the past. The past is gone. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. But live in the here and the now. And if I live in the here and the now, trust me. If I live in the here and the now, Trust me, we are most likely to survive the future. Because I focus on the here. God is here with me. He will not abandon me. And so part of trying to cope with anxiety is to say, what am I afraid of? Is it happening now? No, it's not. It might, it's most likely to happen in the future. But at the moment, it's not happening. Let me focus on the here. Let me focus on the now. Let me deal with with me and myself now. Let me not be scared of the future because God is here today with me. Point number seven, which I also find absolutely helpful. Seek help. Seek support. It's important. Find support. I cannot do it on my own. I cannot do it on my own. Do you have supportive friends? Do you have people who check up on you? Do you have people you can go to? You know, you know sometimes we, we go through issues and we are afraid of sharing our feelings with people, but I feel that we all need trusted friends, trusted family members, where we can be totally honest with ourselves. I feel that we need relationships with friends, trusted friends, not everybody. I'm not saying we must go out and tell the whole world that, oh, this is how I'm feeling. No, 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 no. I, I was listening to a, a reflection uh, given by uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes, and he says something absolutely powerful. He says, don't go and, and, and bleed into people's lives. No, that, that's not what I'm saying. But have trusted friends and hopefully family members where you don't have to wear a mask, where you don't have to pretend, where you can just be yourself. You can just be totally yourself. This is who I am. I'm not feeling okay today. I'm feeling under the weather. I think I'm depressed. I think I'm anxious about the future. And I'm worried. We need to seek support. We must have some sense of support. And we need it. And you... You must have a friend, or was you? We are you, now, Uchi. I just need to talk. And sometimes I see Kona because we need them to to give us an advice. No. Yeah, Kona, because I just need you to hear me. Because sometimes, so often, we we, we feel as if. I haven't been heard. 
Nobody's willing to listen. And have you ever spoken to someone and you feel like so and so gets me? So and so understands me. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that they are able to to feel and to understand. And I feel that I was heard. And so I feel that we need to to get supportive friendships and supportive relationships. And if you can get that with a, a family member, all the better. Then also, number eight, seek professional help. We are see there's something that I want to talk about. There's nothing wrong with going for therapy. There's absolutely nothing wrong to go for therapy. Seek professional help. We ask the Kones Kati Kumina where I say, no, this is too much. I, I cannot deal with this. So what do I do? If I sit with it, I'll die. So I need to go for therapy. I need to seek professional help. Being strong is good, but not all the time. You don't have to be strong all the time. So I, I often say to myself and I say to people, don't be ashamed of going for therapy. Do not be ashamed. It doesn't mean you are weak. When one goes for therapy, I personally feel that person is saying, I'm strong enough to ask so seek professional help. Find someone who can help you. Why? And in, in all truth, what does therapy do? They listen. And they ask you something. So what do you want? I, I have a friend of mine who does therapy. And, and so she always uh, uses some of these techniques. And she says, from the word go, we set the boundaries. What is it that you want? Ufunani. Because as a therapist, I'm here to help you achieve your goal. But I need to check, is this goal achievable? The answer is yes. What's the time frame? And you and I need to understand what is it that you want. And so as one goes for therapy, they will pick up things you have said. They will say, but you've tried this. Did it work? I will answer, no, it didn't. Then maybe don't do it again. Do you think doing it again is still going to help? No, it's what? Then they, they help you. And you soon realize therapy does nothing but empowers you. It is someone who empowers you, who allows you to see what God has already been doing in your life. And we move with that, we grow with that and through that. And so for me, seeking professional help uh, is quite important. But then also, there's something that I also find helpful. Healthy lifestyle. It sounds crazy. But what do I mean by healthy lifestyle? Well, have a good night's sleep. I mean, if, if, if you sleep two hours, three hours, it is going to affect you. Do you rest? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you resting? Are you sleeping well? Are you taking necessary breaks? Are you taking care of yourself? We need to do that. And, and I always talk about self-love. One of the things, one of the ways in which one can cope with life is to take care of one's self, one's life. 
You know, the, the most interesting part is that if I don't do it, nobody will. If I can't take care of myself, I can't expect others to do it. So a healthy lifestyle is important. We need to try and do that. And so the other point that I also find absolutely helpful is have faith in God. Keep your faith alive. How will this do? Gradually, as you find the exposure to anxiety, you, you face anxiety and all those things, and you build some resist, resilience. And as you build resilience, you can only do it through Christ. And so you find St. Paul using these beautiful words, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So have faith in God. Have faith that things will get better. Have faith that God will see us through. Have faith that God will not abandon us. Have faith that God will help you through it. If God has been faithful in the past and he is faithful today, he will be faithful in the future. And that I believe in. Have faith in God. That for me is also one of the most powerful tips or skills or tools that one can learn in trying to deal with some sort of uh, anxiety. Now, I'd like us, I've been talking and I'd like us now to tease it out and talk amongst ourselves. Um, what, 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 are your, what are your views? What, what is it that has helped you to deal with anxiety? What are the things that you have found helpful? And what are the things that you are probably struggling with as we deal with anxiety? And let's have a chat. Let's talk and find out. Uh, Futi, let me start with Futi. Uh, Mina, when I feel sad, I sing, I pray. And if you get a get a table for one or buy something nice for myself. I like that, Futi. I like that. I like that you are able to I'm going to sing, I'm going to pray, and Ginemali, table for one. Spoil yourself. Thank you for that, uh, Fuchi. Uh, Kanyile, I, I like that. That's what Fuchi does. Uh, what about you? What, what do you do? What do you do? What helps you? What are the things when uh, Osborne? Yes, uh, I, I remember somebody, uh, I think Ulunga Beng was saying, if Ukuluma Nabantu, people laugh. Uh, yeah, that's true. Abantu uh, Bashega, hence, the argument, you, you don't tell everybody your problems. Uh, and you choose about to over your life. And you color gradually. You color gets it or that you, you wouldn't mind if people knew about, uh, you wouldn't be embarrassed about that. Uh, so you 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 you, you find, uh, like, like Opiwa uh, was answering that, uh, you, you find a safe space. Uh, and 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 if you find a safe space and you, you then you are able to to talk about it to someone that you can say there is a safe space here. You say finding a safe space helps. Uh, not everyone can be, but uh, there is always that one person that can be. So if you can try and find a safe space, I believe in that. But you build that, you know, where you realize, Uchi, no, 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 I can deal with this. But over there, you figure you would boom. And I, I, I like this text in the scriptures. If one can be faithful in smaller things, well, they are most likely to be faithful also in bigger things. And and, and I find that very helpful. Uh, Upumi also has a, a very interesting point for Yena. Uh, Upumi says, exercising re regularly does it for me, and music also helps. That's very true. Abanyabantu, uh, you find the Uchi, they will go and exercise. And Abanyabantu, they listen to music, good music, you know. Uh, and then it was about Pagamisa, Yawazi, Ubasiza. Thank you for that. Uh, there was once, uh, there was one chef uh, who told me that if I'm not okay, I must sing my favorite song. So that, that helped me a lot and prayed. 
That's very true. So Ukushe no no Pumi share the same uh, uh, sentiment that singing. Uh, I find that very helpful. Uh, I love praise and worship. And so uh, uh, I do praise and worship and it does. It helps me a lot. Uh, I may be going through a lot. And when I go through praise and worship, trust me, by the time and figure, uh, I made a promise to myself. At least, and I try and make sure which and his rope. And so I do praise and worship. It helps me, it builds me, and it, it helps me to, to, to find something absolutely good. Uh, Sophia Walt Walters uh, says, I cook and I take the rosary and pray. Once again, there is something that people do, and that helps, you know. Uh, I, I know friends of mine who enjoy being in the kitchen, you know. They, they will go and they will cook the storm. And why? You will think they want to take off their families. Yes, they do. But at the same time, it says it releases the tension. I know a friend of mine who says uh, they go and they make rosaries or they make candles because they can spend time alone and they focus on something they love. And that helps them to deal with whatever they are dealing with. Uh, Uclio, uh, Cleo says, uh, speaking to people I trust helps. Music also helps me. Uh, uh, Sylvia says, praise and worship is my pain. And so we, we also find people who, who, who go through those issues, but they found a solution. So for Sylvia, it's praise and worship. It is it is her pain. All the time when I'm down, I also like praise and worship. And so you find people who can identify with music and that helps them to really find something that helps them influence out. Uno zipo kuboni, help someone uh, take a walk or a table for one. That's something absolutely beautiful as well. Uguchi. And this is very true. Often when one is depressed or having this anxiety, focus on someone else, help someone else. And doing good to someone else boosts them. Doing good to someone else gives them a sense of joy. And so take a walk, table for one. I think people must also enjoy that. Go. You don't need someone to be happy. Go out on your own and have something good. Upumlam Kabela says, I find exercises, meditation, yoga, and prayer very helpful. Once again, there's something very good there. Go out, have meditation. Go out to have your yoga, go out and exercise and pray. I, I, I find those things for me, they're helpful. And so for some people as well. I do physical activities and try by all means to stick to positive thoughts. That's very helpful. And I think the, one of the most powerful ways of getting rid of negative thought is to inject, insert positive thought and those help us as we try and grow uh, some people they they slip it off they go out they watch television they speak to a best friend and so that helps them to deal with whatever they are going through uh, and then uh, uh, travels and visit friends and family and yena loves praying uh, Mary Jane says, I, I, I light a candle and I listen to gospel music. It's something also very beautiful. Uh, there, Mary Jane, I'll also say, it's part of meditation, you know. Uh, just sit in, 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 in a particular space and just listen to, to music. It, it seems to calm people down. Uh, Ubiata says, when I'm down, I read the Bible and I pray the rosary. So they find that very helpful. The rosary is also quite beautiful uh, because the rosary, by its nature, it's meditative, you know, it's repetitious. So as one repeats uh, the words and, and one just keep on, 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 on praying and, and say the same thing, and one therefore becomes calmer uh, than before. Uh, Usipo uh, loves music and meditation, as uh, Sipo says, that is very helpful. Uh, uh, 
é, o, o user SD, solo drive, cry, pray, and play my favorite songs. Those are also powerful, and I love those. É, go for a drive if you... Some people enjoy é, the scenery, some people enjoy é, driving and, and being out there. É, cry, cry, cry. Don't forget to cry. Cry, crying is, is beautiful. You know, the tears, they cleanse eh, our eyes. So do not be afraid of crying. Eh, stillness helps me. Just watch it, eh, just switching off eh, from everything and just sitting with myself to try and find the source of the anxiety and deal with it. That's something also very beautiful. Eh, just switch off and spend time be alone with god in the silence of your heart and say what's going on and i i, I also do that why are you angry why are you upset what's going on uh, over here and so that, that i find absolutely a uh, uh, very very helpful for me but also let's hear what others say uh Uposh, uh so me says traveling helps uh, a lot uh, and so she finds comfort in traveling, and that's how she deals with it. Ubongi, uh, where she sings, she plays uh, music, gospel music, and she takes a walk. Utembi, there's one song, Eliti Amandla Ga Josepha, Ukoko Waeli Tula, Sisteke Kobemnandi, Ai Busi, Es Busi Manj. So she goes back, and it allows her to go back to that experience. Upeli uh, says, when I listen to Itembala Makatoliga songs, I am healed, especially the song Kizio Yom Sindesi, Siabonga Chandozam. So those things are helpful for some of you. Unongzeba watches, I watch a number of Catholic homely, pro, uh, homely program on YouTube. So she goes then on YouTube and watch these Catholic programs that help her. Unongumelelo loves reading and taking a walk that seems to be helpful kuyena uh, in Asia, eating good comfortable food uh, including eating junk that's what helps her uh, so she says uh, that's what she does and and it helps her and there are moments when one is able to just feel good uh, for that time it's it's a scapegoat you know and it's good to to run away for a moment so that you go 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 command city zulu ukhlehla kwinqama akusho kubaleka kodwa iyo thola amandla eh uh, uphalana uh, tedi says sometimes i spend time alone before jesus uh, in the in the blessed sacrament in the blessed sacrament in the tabernacle and sometimes i pray in the grotto so she finds comfort in those places where she can spend time uh, with god uso so says i go to the beach uh, it calms me down and pray while i'm swimming that's also something very beautiful and I feel that we, we can always learn a lot from those experiences. I find Uluanle uh, so so very calming. I go to the beach if I need to clear my head and I need to think and, and do certain things. I just take a walk to the beach and I find absolute peace when I go there. Uh, what also helps me is cleaning my space. When it looks and feels fresh, I feel better. That's very true, you know. And uh, there's this theory that uh, if your space is cluttered, well, most likely certain things in your life are also cluttered. But if, if your space is, is, is clean, you can clarify certain things as well uh, for your mind. Uh, time out, time out alone, uh, be in the car, listen to music, read positive affirmations, uh, or a favorite book. That's also very good. And uh, that's one is able to. to just have time alone. And I think we need to go back to, let me just have my own time. Let me switch off. Let me try and find what works for me or what I want to do. Utabi uh, says, I've recently discovered that uh, journaling helps me calm down and offload. Very true. Uh, you will realize that journaling is, is part of uh, meditation. And journaling is very therapeutic. Because what I feel, what I think, and what I write down, it's a process. And, and as you journal, don't worry about grammar. 
write down everything that comes out. And if you read it later on, you'll be amazed at what was going on in your life at that time. And uh, Undu Zuma says, I honestly don't know how to deal with anxiety. Mina Ngakala most of the time. But now I will definitely try these tips. Uh, Zuma Mshalos Ndu, uh, it's good to cry. Trust me. I, I always say to myself, cry then to broken things inside. And then look at these tips and say, try which one you want to try first. And try it. It might work. The other one might not work. This one might work. But try. And it's not one size fits all. But crying is definitely good. Then find something that can help out of all the things. Uh, once again, I, I just want to thank you for being with us. I'm still continuing. I'm just thanking you for being with us, taking time to be part of this life. Uh, I encourage you to please subscribe, follow, like, comment, share these links with friends and and, and ask them to be part of these lives. Uh, but I also would like you to, to send us a, a topics that you will want us to talk about and, and to discuss. Uh, I'd also like to thank those who are giving us a gift, who are sending us gifts uh, while we are live, because it is this gift that uh, maintain and grow this ministry. And so I just want to acknowledge those people and to thank them, uh, those who are helping us, who are giving us uh, in TikTok as well as on YouTube and in these social platforms. And thank you. I just encourage you to continue to be with us and to support this. The subscription is absolutely uh, powerful. I'm asking those who have not yet uh, subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, and, and those who have friends, invite friends, and subscribe with us. Uh, Upumla Mkabela says, I find that doing what I love, like reading novels, really helps me because uh, it transports me to another world and I completely forget about everything. Uh, what that was said by Uma Dinangwe, that's very powerful, Uma Dinangwe, uh, which is quite beautiful because if you are able to read and it takes you into a different space and when you're in that different space then you're happy it's 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 something that I, I love and and the more you read the more you you clarify things you know a, a friend of mine um my, my 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 professor as well argues reading influence writing but also at the same time reading influences our thinking you know hence i i, I encourage that Read, read, and 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 I wish we can go back to that culture where we we we, we are okay with reading and we are allowing people uh, also to read. Uh, Arvin Talane says, "I sit alone and I try to to comprehend the whole thing and to understand what is it that is going on uh, in my life." Uh, I have taught my son uh, twelve years to take a deep breath and cry if he feels anxious over something. It really helps him a lot. I also believe that, try me, trust me. Taking a deep breath uh, helps me. I walk it out. I just, I go out, I, I take a walk. If I can take a walk, I'll walk. I will walk and I will breathe. And it calms me down. I will breathe. I will breathe slowly, deep breath slowly, slowly. and. It's very helpful. So I agree with that as well. Uh, Ukabi uh, says, uh, We must always tell ourselves, uh, We fridge, uh, we fridge door. Thank you, thank you, Gabi, for that. Thank you for that. I believe that. I, I believe that, you know. Positive thinking. I believe in positive thinking. The more we are able to do that, physician, heal yourself. Positive thinking. You know, if you have to put stickers, you have to put reminders, you have to, whatever you want to put, today is going to be a beautiful day. Whatever you want to do, something that will help you to grow 
in your life, in your faith. This year, I am making it a point to learn not to boggle things up. I will talk, pray, and cry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do it. Cry if you have to. Find a safe space and talk. Pray to God. Sandy Lechton one says, For me, Baba, for me, I look at the Bible, a verse, for example, Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. Yes, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7 is quite interesting. If that's what I'm thinking of, La Uti, worry not, fear not. Why do we have to fear so much? Let me just check Philippians. Uh, chapter 4 chapter 4 verses 7 6 to 7 yes do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God absolutely beautiful and one little I believe in that so much. I see this thing also was happening. Do not be afraid. You remember I said last time in our life, uh, Jesus Christ says in the scriptures, the word do not be afraid in different forms appears 365 times. And so Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. Imagine if you wrote that down. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. And if you ever got anxious, you just say to yourself, but what's the motto? Do not be anxious about anything. Unkulunkul has more power than this. Thank you, Sandila, for that. Kulunkul has more power than this. Uza Mogushe Foyena, she goes to Uluandle, named Popoma. That helps her, that calms her, that also helps her to deal with whatever is going on. Umbali Lunga. Thank you. Thank you, Father. This feels like a support group uh, to us suffering with depression and anxiety. It's Kumbuza Wuti. We are not alone. Absolutely. You know, uh, I can tell you, Mbali, out of 10 people you meet, probably nine of them are struggling with depression or anxiety or some sort of mental issue, if not 10. It is highly impossible in this day and age for anyone who is adult to not be suffering with some sort of mental health issues. It is impossible. I have a faith. We've survived COVID. We've survived the floods. We've survived looting. We've survived economic meltdown. Aibo. People see a goish. There's so much going on in the world. There is so Mbali Songe. We are all in it. So the sooner we talk about it, the sooner we help each other and try and deal with it, the better it is for all of us. Okay. Upalana there is making a, an interesting point that for 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 Yena uh, loves uh, ending where it says uh, the peace of God will guard our hearts. It is the peace of God that will guard our heart. Yes, uh, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts. And your minds in Christ Jesus. If you were to take, use that 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 phrase, uh, Philippians chapter four, verse six to seven, write it down in any language that you want. Place it somewhere. Do not be anxious about anything. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard you. God will see you through it. I believe that more than anything. Okay. Uh,
Okay, let me see. Okay, what but you uh just one second, one second. Uh the good girl is an interesting also uh true having insight is vital. It, it helps us to, to understand things. Uh the Catholic says, see, uh, I'm in a foreign country to study. Your lives are helping me. Trust me, trust me. Uh, for all those who are who are living in a foreign country, I know the pain, trust me. I was in Rome for four years. I know how it feels being away from home. No matter how much you want to come back home, you can't. It's impractical. You know, I can't miss home now and be at home now. No. I have to go and book. I have to, and it's expensive. So for those who are who are away, uh, trust me, I know the frustration. I know the frustration. And maybe one of the reasons why I do lives and I do online ministry, uh, uh, it's because in Funugun Kumbuza, something like home. Uguchi knows. It's our connect high. And so, yeah, keep going, keep going. Uh, we are in this together. That's why I believe in this cyber cyber parish. Uh, I was talking to friends of mine and I say, I have a cyber parish. Uh, I meet people online and, and th that's where they belong and that's where I belong with them. And it's a, it's a song again, you guy. Uh, no, never. Uh, his grace is sufficient for all of us. Yeah, his grace uh, helps us. And Unkulu Unkulu never abandons us and he will not. He will remain with us. Uh, Uwini uh, also away, Father. Uh, it's not easy. Yes. Being away, it's it's it, trust me. One being away, you're dealing with a cultural shock, you know. And two, supporting structure. Three, you're dealing with things that you are not used to. And for some people, it's different language, you know, different lifestyle, different people. And sometimes you miss being home. You know, one of the most craziest things when we were in Rome, uh, we will miss even the food. Uh, uh, and there's something that in Rome you find is called polenta. Uh, we will will take that and we will cook it. Uh, it, it and then it's closest to a stiff pop, you know, it's closest to pop. Uh, we will miss. I remember one day we, we were so excited realizing that there's KFC in Rome. By the way, there was only one KFC in Rome. And we traveled for hours going for KFC. But I, I mean, South Africa hardly worry about it. But it reminded us of home. You know, we will be walking on the streets of Rome and you will hear someone speaking a South African language and you will like, ah, oh, Nangum Kaya. And, and, and that excitement of someone speaking your own language in a foreign land made us connect. We didn't know each other, but we could connect or listening to a South African song made us connect. So yeah, being away can be very stressful and many people struggle with it. And so, yeah. Uh, we 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 together in this one. Uh, it's really hard. Uh, I want to go home. Uh, just hold on a little bit. It's hard. We understand, but just go finish whatever you you were there to do, and it will be good to have you back home. That helped me a lot. Uh, realizing, Oguti, I'm not going to be here forever. Let me finish what I came here for. Let me give it my best. And eventually I'll get back home and I'll breathe again. I'll, I'll be happy. Uh, so I understand for all our friends, all our, uh, our, 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 our listeners who are away from home, my heart goes out to you and I'm hooting for you. Go out there, do your best, come back, and you will realize life will continue. The lesson you learn away abroad, absolutely powerful. They're absolutely powerful. And I'm hoping you can find a friends that can support you while you are there. Uh, and especially when you feel alone, like you thought people will be there for you and not now. Wow. Uh, I can tell you stories. Trust me. Uh, if you are abroad and you think that people are going to be there for you, uh, they won't. They won't. Uh, I remember we used to talk with friends, you know, uh, some brother priest, you will send someone a, a message, you know, and they will blue tick you. 
I mean, you are abroad, they are here. You know they're online, they've blue ticked you. They're just not gonna respond. They forget about you when you are abroad, but when you come back, oh, ah, so find a way in which you, you can survive, uh, try find a way, find a way uh, in which you can survive. And yeah, it's, it's, we need it, we need it, but we'll get there. Okay, uh, Ukutle says something also. Uh, now, nowadays, uh, Omkaya can make you feel less of a human and you are very far away from home. Yeah, uh, try and get Omkaya all right. Uh, uh, to survive. Uh, we, we, yeah, find it, find it. I, I promise you. We will, we will. God will pro If you can't find Omkaya, we'll, we'll, we'll keep on uh, 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 hanging out here on, on the social media. And remind you of something. Ukatlex okay, says, I miss Upu to uh, I mean Nigeria. Maybe that's another live topic. Yeah, uh, yeah. We one day I think we must do a live uh, for those who are abroad and and with those who are around and remind them, Uchi, I will we miss you back at home, but we are so proud of you. And it's it's good that you are away for whatever purpose that you are away for, but don't forget Uguchi, home is home, and maybe sometimes share. Your own sadness, you know, your own uh, experiences being abroad, and and in Abandu always say, "Hi, but mustn't we have an special Luguti? Hi, mustn't we have impili writing all it?" You know, I mean, I remember uh, when I was there uh, struggling with buying just uh, you know a normal can of cold drink, only to realize, I mean, this thing is about two euros. And I'm like, what? Two euros? I mean, how much is a euro nowadays? I think it's about eighteen rand. Or 15 rand, I don't know. So a can 30 rand, and no, no, I can't do that. I'm, because, well, I only had South African money, so I had to convert a rand to a euro. And if I convert rand to a euro, how am I going to survive? And so I think one day we must do a live. Tim, please remind me, we must do a live and say, how do we support each other emotionally for those who are somewhere at home and family has left, so they're all alone here. Or they may be at home, but their tension amongst all of us okay uh, so yeah uh, mary jane thanks for the such a blessing uh, we are grateful to god uh, let me just take some few and then we will probably come to an end uh, dear friends uh, mark anthony francis uh, the word of the lord gives us direction in times of anxiety and fear absolutely true and I, I like that concept that the Lord just guides us. And uh, uh, Saint Jerome says, "Ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of God." But I, I always find comfort in the Word of God. No, Chula, I was feeling a little anxious about going back to work tomorrow. This is helpful. Go for it. Go for it. Hit it. Show yourself. Show up, and make sure Uti, you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are land based abroad, uh, join expect groups and your embassy also does help to an exit. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, Kanyanda says, Kanyanda says uh, try and join some, some groups of friends who are there, uh, but also the, the, um, uh, the ambassadors. Sometimes the embassy does help. Sometimes, if you have a good ambassador or good people who are working in the embassy, uh, they are helpful. Uh, to help you sometimes they do and so yeah if that can help you uh, try uh, sometimes uh, some they don't but some do but thank you for those uh, for palana uh, palana ratedi john 16 verse 33 keeps me going christ reminds us that we will face challenges but should be strong let me find john 16 uh there's something I just want to check in John 16 and then probably read it out for you. John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I like the word, I have overcome the world. Do not be afraid. I have taken care of this. Uh, Ufik, it says, I thank God for my kids, Baba T, because 
they supported me through and this anxiety is really hard. Thank you. It is absolutely beautiful to know that you had people by your side, people who didn't judge you, people who loved you, people who supported you, and people who cherished you. And I thank you for those. Dear friends, I've taken much of your time. Uh, let us pray to God. Especially, let us pray for those who are uh, having a difficult time. I command the spirit of anxiety to leave us. I command the spirit of depression to leave us. I command the spirit that brings bad thoughts to leave us. I command the spirit of sadness to leave us. I command the spirit that makes us and render us useless and used and, and unworthiness to leave us. I command the spirit that has stolen everything from us to leave us. I command the spirit that tells us that we are failures to leave us. I command the spirit that continues to perpetuate thinking in our minds, which we will never do it to leave us. You know what they are going through. You know what they have suffered. You know what worries them in their minds, in their hearts, in their families. I pray for peace over their lives. I pray for peace and stability in their finances. I pray for peace and stability in their love. I pray for peace and stability in their families. I pray for peace and stability in their work. I pray for peace and stability in their lives, in their love lives. I pray for peace and stability in everything that they do that is blessed by you. I pray that you guide us. I pray that you heal us. I pray that you show us your mercy. I pray that you guide every step of the way, that you guide our thoughts, that you guide our prayers, that you guide our fears, that you guide our anxiety so that we can turn it, or rather you can turn it into moments of growth, into moments of blessing, into moments of abundance. Where we could have listened, where we could have loved, where we could have supported, but we chose not to. Forgive us for the moments where we have sinned. Forgive us for the moments when we have caused harm. Forgive us for the moments where we could have loved. Forgive us for the moments where we could have been present, but we chose otherwise. Be with us, be with each and every one of us. We have joined us in this life. Bless them. You know what they need. Bless them. You know what they pray for. Bless them. You know what is good for their lives. Amen. Dear friends, once again, I would like to thank you for being with us. Thank you for praying with us. I wish you God's blessing in everything that you do. Unkulunkulu anigeza manja. Unkulunkulu anigeza umusawake. Unkulunkulu anigeze itemiso lake. Thank you once again for being with us. And unkulunkulu abenan. Don't forget. Do not forget. Nothing happens for a, a, a mistake. Everything has a reason. The mere fact that God says to us, do not be anxious about anything. I have taken care of it. That's a personal message. Do not be anxious. If you were worried about anything, offer it to God. And if you say, but I have been offering it to God, continue to do it. And now we are doing it together for everything that you are praying for, for everything that you are worried about, for everything that steals your peace, for everything that has been going wrong in your life. We offer it to God. And in God, in him, all things are possible. Keep your faith. Keep going. I assure you of my prayers. I will remember you in my mess. Unkulukulu asbusise astrine sikule emseni na sultanweni lake. Ngiabonga. God bless. See you next week. Thank you, dear friends.